a death that stunned a local community. Tonight, police file a charge in that Arlington accident that rocked a neighborhood and left three children without a mother. The driver of that dump truck that struck a parked minivan killing Jennifer Lawson will now face one misdemeanor charge. This after an extensive investigation lasting a month and a half. Police say the accident outside Nottingham Elementary School was just that, a terrible accident. Jennifer Donnellan is live outside the school with what parents and neighbors now say needs to be done. Jen. Well, this is definitely a neighborhood in shock. When the news van showed up once again today, many of the parents walked up and said, what happened? Were charges filed? We said yes. The reaction to the fact that this was a misdemeanor charge with only 10 days jail time possible and a $100 fine, well, the reaction to that was none of it will bring Jennifer Lawson back. It's absolutely undisputed that this was a terrible tragedy. This is a tragedy for everybody. It was certainly a tragedy for the Lawson family. It certainly is a tragedy for the driver. Arlington County Police today on charges filed in the case of Jennifer Lawson. The Arlington mother was killed in February outside of her children's school after a collision with a dump truck while she was standing next to her minivan. Police said after a month and a half investigation, they are charging dump truck driver 33 year old Marvin Valadares of Manassas with failure to pay full time and attention while driving. It's a misdemeanor with a maximum penalty of 10 days in jail and a $100 fine. Police said Valadares was not talking or texting on his cell phone and testing showed he was not under the influence of drugs or alcohol at the time of the accident and speed was not a factor. We looked at a myriad of charges and the only charge that appeared to be appropriate that there was the evidence to sufficiently support that was the failure to devote full time and attention while you were driving. The whole community is just so it's shaken up by it and it doesn't fix anything, whatever the outcome is. I mean, my concern going forward is what can we do to get people to stop speeding on this street? We learned new details today from police about what happened that February morning. Police explained Lawson was standing on the street next to her parked minivan after placing one of her children inside. The dump truck traveling down Little Falls Road clipped the minivan's sliding door. The impact of the door left three children without a mother and a community in shock. Now, uh, looking more at this accident, it was explained to us that it was a step that was protruding from the dump truck that hit that open rear sliding door, and it's the door that impacted Lawson. Her injuries fatal. This was a joint decision, this misdemeanor charge, a joint decision by police and the Commonwealth's Attorney's Office. Valadares was issued a summons. He's at home. He's not in jail. He's been issued the summons to appear in court next week, April 18th at 2 p.m. Reporting live from Arlington, I'm Jennifer Donnellan. ABC 7 News. Okay.